Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan, this is the Shibri Studios YouTube channel, and today we are going to be looking at five of the most controversial pieces of art in human history. Let's go. Shocking, confrontational, highly sexual, and downright offensive. All of these are things that make wonderful words to stick in the thumbnail, of a YouTube video, but there are also things that were used to describe some of the artwork that we are looking at today. That's right, this is five of the most controversial pieces of art ever created. So in no particular order, let's go. Number one, The Persistence of Memory by Salvador Dali. That's right, we are kicking off this list with the surrealist masterpiece, The Persistence of Memory. Now, Salvador Dali was no stranger to controversy throughout his life with his frequent depictions of nudity, sex and uh, human excrement in his artwork, his political views which saw him expelled from the surrealist groups, and his now infamous quote that Hitler um, turned him on. No, no, he, he did say that, yeah. Yep, about him, about Hitler. Yep, well, the, that, that guy. We're going to cancel him. Cancelling Dali? Hashtag cancel Dali? Well, fair enough. The painting, which features distorted imagery of landscapes and melting watches, is today one of the most recognisable pieces of art there has ever been. However, it was deemed as scandalous when it was first exhibited back in 1931. Surrealism was already a very divisive art movement at the time, but Salvador Dali's use of the very, very photorealistic art style in which he painted with the surrealist imagery that he chose to depict caused people to call into question what was the value of the art that he was producing. Number two, Fountain by Marcel Duchamp. That is right, up next is Fountain by Marcel Duchamp. This ready-made sculpture, a urinal, which is signed with the pseudonym R. Mutt, was submitted for exhibition in 1917, but was ultimately rejected by the jury, sparking a conversation about what art could be. Interestingly enough, Marcel Duchamp was actually on the jury of the Independence Exhibition in New York, which was intended to be this wakening up moment for America, where they could see all of the exciting things that were happening in modern art all over the world in places like Paris. Duchamp had the urinal shipped to the museum with the signature Armut and didn't let it be known to his fellow jurors that was actually being submitted by himself. At the time, people considered Fountain to be vulgar and immoral, some even going as far to claim it as plagiarism, a simple piece of plumbing with no artistic value whatsoever. Number three, The Last Judgment by Michelangelo. Now, let's take a look at The Last Judgment by Michelangelo. The Sistine Chapel is without a doubt one of the most impressive artistic achievements of all time. But even this awe-inspiring masterwork by one of the finest painters ever, at the very height of his artistic and professional maturity, isn't without its own controversies. The fresco painting was considered scandalous for its nudity and graphic depiction of biblical scenes. The papal master of ceremonies, Biagio de Cesna, deemed the fresco outrageous, claiming that it was better suited to the walls of taverns and public baths than it was on a chapel. Cesna was quoted as saying, It was mostly disgraceful that in so sacred a place there should have been depicted all those nude figures exposing themselves so shamefully. Michelangelo responded to this by making Minos, the judge of the underworld, resemble Cessna in the painting. It is an extremely unflattering portrait, with Cessna being depicted with donkey ears and having a snake bite his, well, his genitals. So, very subtle. When Cessna pointed this out to the Pope himself, the Pope reportedly responded by claiming that his authority did not extend to hell, and therefore the painting remained unchanged. But Cessna was far from his only detractor. Satirist Pietro Artino, angered by Michelangelo ignoring his advice, claimed the artist to be godless and a homosexual. And the obvious response was to include Artino in the painting as well, which Michelangelo promptly did. In The Last Judgment, St. Bartholomew bears a striking resemblance to Artino, depicted as an old man holding his own flayed skin, proving once and for all that Michelangelo had absolutely zero chill when it came to critics. Number four, Guernica by Pablo Picasso. 
Moving on now to Guernica by Pablo Picasso, quite possibly one of the most powerful and enduring pieces of anti-war art in history. Picasso's huntingly dark depiction of the bombing of the Basque town was created in 1937 at the very height of the Spanish Civil War. It was considered controversial at the time due to its overt political leanings, its graphic depiction of violence and the devastation of war, as well as its powerful anti-fascist message. As you might imagine, this kind of message made Picasso a vilified figure within certain sections of Spain during the Spanish Civil War. The Spanish and Basque governments hated the mural. President José Antonio snubbed Picasso's offer to give the painting to the Basque people. The Basque painter Usule called it, and I quote, one of the poorest things ever produced in the world. Adding that Picasso was just shitting on Guernica. And some other Spanish officials suggested taking down the mural and replacing it with an entirely different piece of artwork. Brunel, a notorious radical in his own right, found the painting so unpleasant that he was quoted as saying he would be delighted to blow the painting up. And number five, The Naked Maja by Francisco Goya. This painting depicts a nude woman and was considered at the time to be so scandalous due to its overt eroticism and sensuality and even led to Goya being summoned before the Spanish Inquisition. Bloody hell, that's a bit much. The painting was first recorded in the year 1800 by an inventory made by then Prime Minister Manuel de Godoy. Godoy was in possession of the painting when it was discovered by investigators from the Spanish Inquisition in 1808, along with other questionable pictures. Due to his possession of the painting, Godoy was taken before a tribunal where he was forced to give the name of the artist responsible. During this tribunal, the naked Maja was described as so indecent and dangerous to public good. The outrage to this painting was so enormous that it caused a crowd of people to gather together and demand that Godoy be removed from his position as Prime Minister. Goya himself was later arrested by the Spanish Inquisition and charged with moral depravity. Goya was eventually cleared of these charges, however, the public outrage was so much that he eventually went on to create a new artwork called The Clothed Maja, a complete replica of the original painting, however, in this version, the woman was clothed. And there you have it folks, that is five of the most controversial pieces of art in human history. Know of any other controversial masterpieces? Do make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. Links to all my socials on my Etsy store are in the description of this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one.